Hello, family. So today was one of those days to get out the house, do a little grocery shopping, and we decided to go to Stu Leonard's. If you ever been to Stu Leonard's, you know what type of spot it is. And for those who haven't, it's like one of those places where you go and enjoy shopping for fruits and veggies. They have a nice seafood department. Um, they have a section that's dedicated to candy, all types of candy. They sell everything, um, fresh meats. Everything is like separated in its own department and you can like see everything. The store is like well, well put together, stocked, packed. Um, and it's like one of those places where if you need to go shopping and you don't have a babysitter for the kids, bring the kids with you because you'll be able to focus on what you need to do. But at the same time, it's like, OK, I'm getting the kids out and I can make this fun. <laughs> I can make this um, I can make the grocery shopping time fun. So I'm going to just go through the store, let um, everybody see what Stu Leonard's look like. And maybe you might have something similar in your area that's kind of like Stu Leonard's. Here's a quick haul of what we got from Stu Leonard's and from Walmart today. We did some strawberries. I think those was like two for five dollars. Some fresh rosemary, shallots. This is stuff that we got from Walmart. Just a little small haul from Walmart. Um, Jamaican mango lime. Well, the strawberries, shallots, rosemary. Um, all from Stu Leonard's cucumbers, some um, antipasto salad, imitation crab meat flake style. Um, oh my gosh, these are so good. The pink honey glow pineapple chunks, banging. Cabbage, beef shaved steaks for some steak and cheese. Um, whipped cream. Peaches, oranges, lemon, leeks, leeks, peppers. Spinach wrap, jalapeno cheddar wrap, 
uh, from Stu Leonard. Blueberries. It's like two for five from the blueberries. Some uh, shiitake mushrooms. Yeah, and that was our little haul for today. Walmart, Stop and Shop. Oh, Stop and Shop, we just got some pepper jack cheese. And um, yeah, that was it. Okay, it's wine down time. Me and Bay about to eat our Jersey Mike's, watch a little TV, and then take it down for bedtime. Have a good night, y'all. Have a good night. All right, people. So let's step into this quick orzo con gandu. Thanks to my friend. She taught me a long time ago how to make it, and every single my big pot. As you can see, I'm doing this with one hand. So bear with me, okay? Let me get my oil into the pot, okay? Get my oil in the pot. Cover the bottom. Cause oh, I know the best sofrito is homemade. Now I'm using whatever I have left because I already have some um, jamon. Is that how you say it? <laughs> that heat down. Let me get our, hold on guys. So let's grab our sasso. Do we have any of the rest of that? Yeah. That's what get the rice popping. Um, let's get our rice in there. That's okay. Let's use some of the beans as well for water. I'm gonna let this um, beauty cook down and I'll come back and check it in a little bit. But here it go. It's the making of something beautiful. Something beautiful. Yep, and I'll, I'll pick the camera back up when I, um, all right, see y'all in a few. All right, y'all, so let's do a reveal. So let's take that off. Let's peel this for, mm. all right? I'm gonna give it a nice little stir. I don't forget I'm working with one DM hand, okay? So hold on, let me get out. Hold on. All right, there we go. All right, so this is how you want your rice to be. You want your rice to be nice and fluffy. Look at that, look at how it just, you know, I want your rice to be nice and fluffy. Now, one thing I didn't put in here is, um, when I make the rice for events, some people like to do, um, they want me to add like chicken, chicken to it. Some people like the ham pieces. Some people um, just like it without any meat in it. Just the veggies, like the olives and the beans or whatever. So you can have it either way. Today I did not put any um, like protein, like as far as meat inside. But this is oh, but this is definitely how you want your rice to come out. I'm trying to hold it up. So yes, this is how should I this best? Talk to your girl. Talk to your girl. Perfection at its best. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, listen, I am a master of all trades, and um, how they say it, um, whatever. Yeah, you get the picture. <laughs> I was trying to be silly and make a joke, but okay. This is the rice. Got the rice. Got the rice. Got the rice. Thank you.
Oh, you in my way. So it's, you know, the universe works in so many different ways. And it's just like, you know, one day you could have a good day and the next day everything just go downhill. So after the walk downtown and the grocery store and all that stuff, like this is like probably like a week later, I get a phone call. I'm about to clock out of work, okay? And I get a phone call. I see this missed phone call. I call back. And it's the police department telling me that my dad was found deceased. So, yeah, you know, here's my dad. Life happens. He was a great guy, great dad. And we definitely going to miss you, Pops. We love you. Rest in peace. But you're in a better place now. I inserted some pictures of my family and I at the repast. And, um, yeah, this is us. And, you know, it comes a day when, you know, everybody, everybody just see that day. You know, you don't expect it, but it happens. And um, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm holding up. I'm doing okay. I thought I was recording. I wasn't recording nothing. I was just had the phone like this. <laughs> I know. I mean, exactly. Like, look at that. That's that's me on my first birthday. Oh, first birthday. Yeah. First, look at me in the cold. <laughs> Oh Look, that's me, 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 Tyra, and Kenya. Yeah, I seen that. I just yeah. said that to Kenya. I just said this one to My father, I Nancy, I Cassie, all of them. I think I probably got. I think I saved probably like seven. You look so good, Nyla. You feel good, too. Huh? Yeah. I know you do. Look. Oh yeah, that's Boogaloo and Shaw right there. Yeah. Nah, that's Oma. Your mother said that's Oma, but I thought that was Shaw. I thought that was Shaw. Who, who in this photo? I know that's Aunt Lizzie right there. Where Aunt Lizzie? It looks like she was reaching for something. Yeah, look, 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 Aunt Lizzie. What you were reaching for, Aunt Lizzie? Uncle CJ and TJ. I think that was at, um, Uncle CJ. I think that was at, um, um, that was at, um, that was at, um, that was at, um, that was that was at uh, uh, Janie House. I think that was at Janie. Who's in the picture? That's Mila and my dad. Yep. They got the they got the filters on. They got the filters on. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that's me and Shaw. Yeah. That's you and Shaw. Oh my God. Hey, can we I all will. take a picture together? Yes. Yo, no. 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 we, we can be getting today or tomorrow. Or... I got probably about like 70 slides. That's all. Really? Yep. That's I great. saved them. I saved them. Ready? Twin, where have you been? Nobody know me like you do. Nobody don't love me like you do. <laughs>